Hey, yo, what's up, you guys? So, there is a lot of, I, I want to update you. Uh, there is, is a couple of reviews that I want to do. I want to do the rescuer one, because I need to do the rescue one, because I want to complete. So, I'm going to complete the Hulk, and I want to, I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background, it's my dad. Uh, I want to re review her, so I can kind of have, like, a complete review set of all the figures. Um... And then, you know, I also have a Wasp to review. I'm not so much worried about that because it's it's from the older wave. I don't know if I'll ever complete it. I might just get the rest of the pieces from, like, somewhere else. You know, I may get the other comic figures, which I don't know all the comic figures, but I know one other comic figure. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that today. Uh, first off, I want to say late Merry Christmas. I know I didn't do a video yesterday, but I wasn't sure that I had enough minutes to do stuff. So, to begin with, I have like a hundred and forty or a hundred and ninety dollars from Christmas. Fifty dollars went into my uh, bank account. Um, but so there's that. So you should be seeing me complete Hulk pretty soon, and. I'm going to uh, pre-order two things. I've never pre-ordered something before, but these two things are worth it. At least one is. Um, <laughs> I want the other one too, and that's Commander Bly and the Sith Jet Trooper. Because, can you guess what this video is about? It's not about action figures. It is about the Rise of Skywalker. Now, before we get off, I want to say a message to anybody who didn't like the Rise of Skywalker or is kind of confused to it. If you're confused to it, I'll try to explain it to you because I'm guessing most people may be confused about the ending or something like that. That's where I'm going to try to... Where When I get to that part, I'm going to try to explain things to people. Uh, and then if you're angry... I understand if you can have some dislikes. I have one dislike, and it's not really much of a dislike, which I'll get to later. But it, a lot of people, I think, are just still stuck up on The Last Jedi, which I, on popular opinion, I didn't think was that bad of a movie. I kind of enjoyed it, mainly because of all the Kylo Ren moments that happened. But uh, so Rise of Skywalker. Man, I have been itching to do this. I just watched it today. I just watched it. I just got back from it like a few minutes ago. And it... It blew my mind, okay? It, it was awesome. The beginning, I don't actually remember much about the beginning. Beginning was interesting because, like... Well, you know, they have the usual, like, opening. You know, it says in big yellow words, Star Wars, whatever. And it shows Kylo Ren go at, like, destroying this world. And he takes this thing to go talk to Palpatine. And... Oh, I sh... Um... Actually, okay, I'm good. Because this was shown in a trailer. If you're, if you're mad... If you're mad that if I spoil something for you... Technically, I didn't spoil anything. Because this was in a trailer. It literally was in a trailer. But I'm gonna stop right there. Because I'm gonna say this. Spoiler warning. If you think that was a spoiler... There is actually a trailer that kind of already did that, which was uh, Kylo Ren meets Palpatine. If you want to, if you want to see proof, just type it in. But I'm going to continue. If you don't want any actual spoilers, click off this video and come back to it when you watch The Rise of Skywalker, or after you're done with Earth. Jesus, could you play that any louder? Um, the beginning, it was there was that it was basically that trailer. He went in, he went to go meet Palpatine, and, well, so, what apparently had happened, from what I can tell, there was, like, a tube where it looked like Snoke, so he literally created Snoke. He was not, he was not at all, like, real or important at all. And, and Emperor's like, I can give you my entire fleet, which is this huge fleet just rises out of like the ground and he calls it the final order and 
It just was huge. It was so many. There was definitely over a thousand Star Destroyers. Like you saw in the trailer. That was also shown in the trailer. But like I said, if you're still in here, I spoiled something for you. Guess what? I technically did it because it was in the trailer. I really want to get that across because I feel like people are going to yell at me. But anyways. Gets in and the Emperor's like, I'm going to give you this. I just need you to bring me the girl or to kill the girl. Well, Ray, we see Ray. She is training uh, uh, and stuff. And then she gets this feeling. Uh, they need to go find something. Blah, 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 blah. Calibran comes back into this meeting room full of the staff, including General Hux. And I think this one other guy that I did recognize, and I figured out why, it was because he also worked for the Emperor. And you see the Knights of Ren for the first time. The Knights of Ren were awesome. I mean, they didn't do a whole lot other than, like, spy and kill people. But they were awesome. Like, they were just awesome. He went into this room with his mask reconstructed. And it reminded me of Vader. Now a lot of people are going to be like, he's nowhere near Vader. He's a baby compared to Vader. I understand where you're getting at. Because Vader was powerful. He was more mature. He can control his feelings a little better. You know, all that. But it just gave me that feeling. Because, like, there was this officer questioning him. And he immediately just threw him to the ceiling. And it was like, you know... If I was a huge Star Wars fan, I would think this was a like a new version of Vader, <laughs> because this that was it was awesome. Well, he goes on searching for Ray. I, I don't. Well, meanwhile, Ray, Poe, Finn, they go and like get C three PO to like translate this thing, and uh, well. As she's doing well, and then Kylo Ren goes down to that planet to go look for her. But funny enough, she goes to a ship, and well, they have the Force Link, and he he tells her, you know, I know more of your story. I know who you are. And later down the line, there's some of these things I can kind of skip. He tells her, "You're the daughter of Palpatine," and my mind was like. Okay, I can kind of expect that from what the Emperor said in the beginning. But on the other hand, wow. <laughs> and this and this and that. She gets to this. They eventually get to this planet. Or I think it was on one of the moons of Endor. Uh, they go see this Death Star. See the remnants of the Death Star. She goes in exploring. Uh, she fights her evil self. She sees Kylo. She has a fight with Kylo. And then he, she wins because Leia distracted him. And, uh, he gets stabbed. And, well, after, he, after she felt that Leia, not surprisingly, and this is because of the actor, she died. And Ray felt it too, and Calderon fell back. She went in and touched him and force healed him. And then she leaves. And he gets a vision of Han Solo, who's like, Hey, kid, uh, get your shit together. Uh, you know, and he's like, My son's not dead. Kylo Ren is dead. And well, with that, Kylo is like, Okay, and throws his lightsaber out into the pool, and then, um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember as much as I can. What else? Well, she goes to where, uh, Luke went, was hiding, and she's, like, burning her ship, and... He's about, she's about to throw her lightsaber, Jesus Christ, lightsaber into the fire, and, but someone catches it, and, 
and it was Luke's ghost. And he's like, you know, this should be to your respect, blah, 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 blah. You know, you can't do this. Uh, there's another lightsaber who happened to be Leia's lightsaber. Apparently, Leia was actually training to be a Jedi, which is awesome. And she's like, he's like, well, he said that, she said that then someone else will pick it up for her. Um, and then he's like, you know, you use, you use, you will use both of these lightsabers to end Palpatine or to defeat Palpatine. And then, like, the Resistance knows about Palpatine's alive, and there's this huge fleet. And while well, they have this plan, so they go in, Ray's already there dealing with this, and there's this huge fight that's about to happen, and this small rebel group tries to fight off like a th uh, over a thousand ships, and it's not working out. Then Kylo comes in, because he knows that she's in danger. Um, kills a couple, I'm guessing what might be like worshippers or Palpatine who had guns. And then, well, through a force link, she gave him uh, a lightsaber, and he killed all the Knights of Ren. <laughs> and then they go and fight Palpatine, and then he absorbs them, he becomes more powerful. And then they're both on the ground, and he pushes Ben away. It seems like he died. Ray gets up. And it looks up and like tries to he that she asks these Jedi you know for help and you can hear Luke, Leia's, Yoda's, uh, Obi Wan's, Mace Windu's, even Qui Gon Jinn's voice telling her like rise, rise up and defeat him. She rises up and Palpatine's like all the Sith live in me. And she's like all the Jedi live in me. And she defeats him uh, by deflecting. The lightning back at him and then well after that like the lightning crumbles down the building she lays there on the ground she walks and she lays there on the ground and Ben gets up walk like crawls over to her he only has a little bit of life left in him he crawls over to her holds her and he concentrates and force heals her something that Anakin can never do for Padme just want to state that he did something that Anakin never achieved. Um, and he came back to life. She's like Ben, and she kissed him. Then he died. Because he gave the rest of his life to her. He died. He became a force ghost. And afterwards, the war was over. She goes. She goes, celebrates. And then she goes to Tatooine to Luke's original farmhouse. And she looks off in the distance. And she sees the force ghost of Luke and Leia. And she smiles. And they smile. He, she has the other two lightsabers buried. She turns on this new one, which is a yellow one. Which means balance. That's what I put together. We never knew a meaning, but I guess that was that mean. And so this, I want to get this cleared out. Like, uh, I don't know how to really explain this. The war is done. There is no more war. Um, she felt balanced. And if anybody was like, well, what happens to her next? My mind went off and kind of created something. It goes along the lines of, like, either she went, made a Jedi, you know, a new Jedi order, uh, got some kids, got guidance from all the Jedi Masters, including Ben Solo. Uh, if not that, then she just lived happily, and Ben Solo's ghost was there with her for a long time. That's all I can master, and hopefully this will not be the last video you see of me uh, this week. I am going to Fargo tomorrow, so maybe I'll be back with some reviews uh, I'm also getting a lightsaber a Kylo Ren's light up lightsaber uh, but anyways uh, I'll see you all the next one hope you enjoy this review let me know I love the movie I, I'm probably gonna go see it again with my mom
I love the movie. I, I love it a lot. Uh, I don't know, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, look forward to future videos. And peace. Good to be back.